If you've ever gotten capped from behind by some guy that snuck up on you in uh, Counter-Strike or Call of Duty 4, uh, or you're an audiophile and you love to listen to your music in the clearest quality possible, this is gonna be something that you're gonna be very interested. This is the Asus Zonar DX7.1 audio card. Uh, this is the little brother to the D2X from Asus, which uh, not too long ago pretty much changed everything as far as audio cards go. Now, what's important about this is that it's half the price. So it puts it into uh, a, a bracket where a lot of more people can afford it. Now, first thing you'll notice off the back, obviously, is that this is a low-profile card compared to the last one, which was a big Zonar card. Uh, you don't get DTS on this, but that's not going to be as important to gamers uh, you know, as some of the other features. What you do get is they both work on Dolby Digital Live, which is very cool, and they both have the same audio processing unit as the D2X, uh, which is the best on the market. It supports high-def audio up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. Uh, so very, very, very high quality. Uh, so that's across all channels, very high quality. Now, talking about what comes on the board, this uses the EAX 2.0. Now, you might say, well, Creative uses the EAX 5.0. I'll tell you what, the technology that ASUS has put on this card, what it lets you do is it lets you emulate that 5.0 in the 2.0 uh, environment. So you get all the direct sound effects in Vista, you get people coming up behind you, you get explosions, and just like you know the regular GX 1.0, it, it works exactly the same, but on top of that, you get an additional suite of products. Now, those products are from Dolby uh, Home Theater Technologies. You get Virtual Speaker. Virtual Speaker is uh, uses you know two channels on it, and the two channels can turn into five. It's sort of like those Bose uh, magic speaker systems that fill your room with noise, same thing. Uh, same technology, you get Dolby Headphone. Dolby Headphone is, again, you, you're gonna hear somebody sneaking up behind you. It's not, they're not gonna surprise you this time. You're gonna turn around and you're gonna get them. Uh, you get, what else do you get? You get ProLogic 8. ProLogic 8 is really cool. It lets you up mix. If you're a sound guy, you can up mix from five channels to let's say six or seven channels uh, to add in the sides or, you know, or convert your surround sound to like even better surround sound. Uh, what else do you get? You get Vocal FX. Vocal FX is good for your in-game chat actually. Uh, works really good uh, to get, make sure you have the best uh, sound quality when you're chatting with your teammates on your multiplayer online games. Uh, you get Magic Voice. Magic Voice changes your voice. Really cool for chatting on the web. Uh, you know, my voice is kind of geeky. I could, you know, turn it into a Samuel Jackson voice or, or you know, whatever I want to do. Uh, but you know, in the end, what what all that technology and all that stuff does is it just gives you a clearer sound, 35 times clearer actually, and uh, you get 97% less noise. You get 3% of the noise that you would on onboard sound. So you get a huge improvement in that type of performance. Uh, so let's go over real quick what you get on the card. Let's see if you can zoom in on the uh, on the ports here. Starting from the top one, the top one is a multi-port. It actually does several different things. Now, uh, the top one can either be three things. It can either be uh, your microphone jack, it can be your line input jack, so you can record and process sounds, you know, from analog to digital through here, or in the box, you get this little SPDIF adapter, which would turn it into an output instead of an input. You simply put it in there and it's either a coax or an optical SPDIF. You can do both, it's a hybrid, it's a combo. Uh, now, the second one down uh, right here is for your headphones or your two channel speakers. So if you have just left and right speakers, they would go there, uh, or your headphones. If you are using multi-channel, you're gonna use all of them. These are gonna be your front right and your front left. Uh, these are gonna be your surround, side surrounds, which are left and right. And then this one, the third one down, is your center channel and your subwoofer. Uh, last one followed up closely by the rear surround, left and right. Taking a look at the board itself, it's actually really nice. Very elegant, all black. I think I like that. It looks pretty cool. You have, uh, of course, all the capacitors. This is going to be your auxiliary input. So this is going to be, actually, this is your auxiliary input. This is your front panel connector. So this is going to go to the front of your case in case you have extra audio there, extra mic or input jacks. Uh, this, you're not, might, probably might not use. This would probably come from a TV tuner. Uh, this is like kind of what used to plug into your CD-ROM back in the day. Uh, <laughs> we don't do that anymore. But anyway, again, very nice card overall. I'll go out on a limb here and say that this is probably the best card that you can buy for the money right now. Uh, it, it performs amazingly. It's almost so good to the comparable to the D2X that you won't be able to tell the difference uh, in blind tests. You know, nobody could really figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. I tested both side by side, and it was amazing. And being half off, it's going to be the best bang per buck. So I definitely recommend it. Go for it. If you want to get a sound card but you don't want to spend above two hundred dollars, this is half as much as the Big Brother. Uh, so. Great card. If you have any questions, like usual, go ahead and email me. I'll see you guys next time.
For more information on the Asus Zonar DX PCI Express sound card, go to CompUSA.com and type in A455-2621 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.